It's been reported an anti-terrorism operation is underway in Ukraine to clear pro-Russian separatists from the east of the country. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, earlier leaders in Kiev accused Russia of acts of aggression after gangs of pro-Moscow militants stormed government buildings in a number of eastern Ukrainian cities. Despite claims from Kiev of Russian involvement, Moscow is denying responsibility. Sky News reporter Katie Stallard is in Donetsk. The authorities in Kiev say an anti-terrorist operation is underway in Slavyansk. They say it's being directed by the anti-terrorist centre of the state security service that the country's security units are responding. But this morning it is the protesters who remain in control of these key strategic buildings. It started yesterday morning in Slavyansk where armed masked men in combat fatigues took control first of the police headquarters and the arsenal of weapons inside and within hours and the state security building in that town. They remain in control of both of those buildings this morning. Similarly, in Kramatorsk, very close to Slavyansk, a number of shots were fired as, again, masked men in combat fatigues took control of the police headquarters, which they remain in control of this morning. And for all that the authorities in Kiev say that they are now responding, that defence and interior units will be involved, it's difficult to see what form that response is going to be able to take when for instance, here in Donetsk, where we are, protesters also marched on the police headquarters. They met with very little resistance. Those police headquarters are this morning flying the flag of the People's Republic of Donetsk. And the police inside say that they are now with the people, that they will not attack these pro-Russian supporters. In Kiev, the government says this is an act of aggression from Russia. The United States says Russia must de-escalate the situation, must move its troops back from the Ukrainian border or it will face additional consequences. But Moscow continues to insist there is no evidence whatsoever that it is involved in what's happening here.